Hello and welcome to the Smartest Builder online automation training. My name is Inder and I will be your guide. In this video, I'm going to do a quick introduction to home automation and to Luxon in particular. To get started, let's define home automation. Home automation is when you install a device in your home that gives you additional control of a typically manual task. For example, a standard light switch can typically only be turned on or off by hand. However, if we install a home automation device in the switch, it can now be turned on or off by hand, from an app, from a motion sensor, based on the time of day, based on brightness, or any other input you want to give it. Home automation seems risk-free, right? Wrong. There are real risks to automating your home, and it's important to list them first. Risks include, number one, having outdated or discontinued home automation. Number two, getting support for your home automation. Number three, getting software updates for your home automation. And finally, number four, hacking of or privacy invasion by your home automation. There are four key characteristics to consider when selecting a home automation system. Number one, the physical form of the home automation. Number two, the processing location of the home automation. Number three, the expandability of the home automation. And finally, number four, the friendliness of the home automation system with other devices. Let's first review the two physical form factors of home automation devices. The first form factor is device-based forms. This is where the only thing you need for automating is a singular device. Using the earlier light switch example, to automate the light switch, you would just need a smart light switch. The next form factor is the hub-based form. This is where you will have a hub or gateway device to do your automation. So for the light switch example again, you would need a smart light switch and a hub to process the automation commands. The second and most important characteristic of home automation is the brain location of the system. Essentially, where does the automation command come from? The first is a cloud-based brain. When you tell the light to turn on, the signal goes over the internet to the manufacturer's server, which then sends a command back to the light switch to turn on. The second, and our preference, is a local based brain. When you tell the light to turn on, the signal goes over the intranet, which is your local network, to a hub or a gateway, which then sends a command to the light switch to turn on. And finally, there is a hybrid brain, which is essentially a combination of both. The third characteristic of home automation to consider is the expandability options from the manufacturer. There are two methods of, for expansion, wired or wireless. For wired, the smart home automation product can work with other devices from the manufacturer over a wired line, such as through the intranet or a communication line. This is a preferred method due to speed and reliability. The second method of expansion is over wireless. The devices communicate wirelessly with each other through signals like Wi-Fi, radio frequency, Zigbee, Z-Wave, or Bluetooth. The final characteristic to consider for home automation is how devices work with other manufacturers. As your automation needs grow, you cannot expect a single company to cover all your needs. How the devices communicate with each other is called integration. Integration can be done in three different ways. Number one, local integration. This is where devices communicate with each other over a wireless or wired method within the home. Number two, cloud integration. This is where devices communicate with each other from their respective internet servers. And finally, number three, hybrid integration. This is where devices communicate both locally or cloud-based depending on what's needed. So now that we know the basics of home automation, how does Luxon fit in? Well. Let's first go through the risks. Number one, Luxon builds and programs their own equipment in a manner that if a piece becomes discontinued or outdated, it doesn't stop working with new equipment or software. This protects your investment. Number two, getting support from Luxon can be hard because it's limited to Luxon partners. However, at The Smartest Builder, we have created training so you can independently understand and program Luxon. So working with us removes this risk. Number three, Luxon provides updates for free, but sometimes installers can limit this ability. 
working with our training, you can update your Luxon system for free on your own. And finally, number four, there are no computer or automation systems that are hack proof. However, because Luxon works locally from within your house, it has a limited capacity for external intrusions. Essentially, Luxon does not need your email or personal details to work. Heck, it even keeps working without ever needing to be connected to the internet or communicating with Luxon servers. Now, let's look at the characteristics of Luxon. Number one, physical form. Luxon comes in a hub-based form. This can either be a mini server Go, which can go on a shelf or a desk, or the mini server, which goes inside a dedicated panel. Number two, and the most important, the brain. The biggest difference with Luxon is its processing location. Everything Luxon does for home automation is done within this hub. This includes logic, processing, calculations, and even the app. Number three, expandability. If you need to expand Luxon after you finish your installation, you can do so through wired or wireless methods, giving you ultimate flexibility. And finally, number four, integration. Luxon's mini servers can integrate with multiple manufacturers, both locally within your house or over the internet. There are, of course, more details to know about Luxon. Thankfully, this is the first of eight videos in our TSB's Luxon 8 introduction series. In this series, we provide a technical overview of Luxon so you get a good idea of what you're investing your time and money into. So please keep watching. And of course, please remember that at The Smartest Builder, we train our customers to be independent on the Luxon automation system. A smart and independent home is always better with a smart and independent homeowner. Thank you for watching and listening to me today.